They say that uh, a man who is converted against his will remains unconverted still. Nobody can take you and shake a fist. I've given lectures on Gandhian pacifism and uh, Satyagraha, the force of love, love power. And I said, it's absolutely impossible for me to come and shake my fist under your nose and say, listen, either you learn nonviolence or I'll break your nose. <laughs> Can't make an impression that way. Certainly not a positive one. <laughs> Might leave you with a cauliflower nose or a beak or something, but it's not going to convert you to my way of thinking. We're not here to force anyone to our point of view. They tried that a few generations ago with prohibition. There was more liquor drunk, I understand, in the basement of the Congress in Washington, D.C. than there was before prohibition. You can't legislate morality or ethics. You can only tell people the truth as you see it. And if you have the light, eventually they'll come around to seeing the light. <laughs>